just listen to the sounds. There's nothing quite like rainfall. Nivalis is unlike any place I've ever been to. I didn't know what to expect. Because, like many of you, you've probably heard bad things. But honestly, I feel like that's what people tell you about every major, densely populated city. Oh, don't go there. It's dangerous. You're going to get robbed or worse. Or don't go there alone. Definitely don't go there at night. Right? There's a lot of stories about Navalis. About the problems that the androids are taking over. And, of course, I don't know the full story. I don't know what it's like living here 24 hours a day. But my initial impression, it's another city with a complex and diverse story. Every place has their problems. But I think every place has good people with good intentions, different cultures and stories to share. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I'm just going to observe as that is all I can do as someone who doesn't live here. Now, getting here is a little tricky. You can't just take a plane to Navalis. I don't have to tell you that. But, long story short, many layovers, transfers later, here I am. The city is always in a perpetual nighttime. And that's a very interesting aspect of this city. And as you can see, although it's always night, there are always lights to illuminate the sky and there's something just completely different about this place And, you know, like I was alluding to, 
there's always the stories of crime and, you know, all the problems the city faces, but so far I haven't run into any trouble. I haven't met anyone that wishes to seek harm towards me. In fact, everyone has been either friendly or they don't engage with you. And I don't think that's a hostile thing. I'm getting a sense that that is part of the way of life and the culture in the Bahamas. But like I said, it's been pretty good so far. Lots of things to do around this area, around the whole place. Anytime I come to a new city, and especially metropolitan areas with these super high rise living quarters, I always wonder what is it like to live so high in the air like that? So far above everything. And also, how amazing those views must be. And this is it, you know. The city is alive. There are people going about their day, going about their business. And honestly, it's just like any other place. So it's kind of a shame that it gets this rap for being less than kind. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Walking around right now, I feel safe. I feel okay. I'm relaxed. And so far, I haven't run into any trouble. And again, I'm just showing my experience. Maybe yours would be different. Everyone's will be different, I'm sure. Got this nice diner right here. Looks like a nice place to sit down. Got a little quarter machine for the kids. And then next door, this nice little bar area. Very cool. Now, 
because I'm not a local, I don't know where the good spots are, who makes the best cocktails, where the best nightclub is, or any of that. But I suppose that's kind of the fun of visiting new areas. And especially if you make the endeavor to move here, got another restaurant, more of a fast food looking place right here. Some people playing pool in there. Nice little convenience store. And there you are. See, it's a nice, nice little area. You got plenty of options for food and entertainment. I, for one, love this atmosphere. I mean, how cool would it be to live in one of those areas, one of those houses? Like I said, it seems like a nice neighborhood, plenty of stuff to do. One thing I'm not sure of is how the housing works, the prices. So I have no idea if maybe this is out of my budget or even below it. I just don't know. Obviously, if I were going to think about moving here, that would be something to do more research on, but that's not what my goal is today. Taking a look around, trying to absorb what Navalis has to offer. And I love this freeway system they have here. It actually is more efficient for your fuel usage, you know. And that's what is special about Navalis is their love and innovation on technology. It's state of the art, still ahead of its time, but when it was growing it was the center of all of that. Oh. And now we are in, whoa, all right. Well, I am not used to this kind of traffic and it shows just got pushed out of there. Well, welcome to Avalon Heights. Just want to take a look over here. Just stunning. Isn't it? I could imagine this must be a very fun place to live. Look at this apartment to the left. Wouldn't you want to live there? Or aren't you just at least curious? Maybe you're 
So maybe none of this is appealing to you, at least in terms of wanting to live here. But for me and those like me that enjoy the city life, there's something quite appealing to Navalis. And I think like anyone that travels, when you visit a new place, you wonder, what's it like living here? And then you Maybe imagine yourself as a citizen. And I'm not going to lie. Looking around, taking it in. I could see why many people thousands move here, if not more. And of course, millions and millions live all throughout Navalis. That's obviously the benefit of such unreal heights that a lot of these buildings are pretty much you're always looking up and look at this a lift to get to the other side Pretty cool, isn't it? There's just such an efficiency here. Everything feels well placed. And the architecture the flow of traffic and foot traffic, it, it all just makes sense. And this video, you not being here yourself, it, it won't do it justice when you have your own two feet on the ground. And you can take in the sights and sounds the way you want to. But hopefully this is just a little taste of the life in Navalis. And again, it's not easy to get here, both travel-wise and also you have to have the authorizations, all the document and paperwork, you know, which is a bit of a headache to do, but absolutely worth it if you want to visit this I'm going to say it amazing place I I know I haven't even been here 
24 hours, but you know, it's like when you meet someone and you just hit it off right away. I find this city to be fascinating and intriguing and it has me very curious. I just want to know more about the people here, the culture, the way of life, and not that I want to get deep into the politics, it's still good to know what are the laws, what are, what does all that look like? Oh, here we go. The Roadhouse. Girls, girls, girls. Well, I don't think YouTube would uh, appreciate if I went inside, so. Not that I really would, but not going to go in there. You know, again, it just has a bit of everything. All sorts of restaurants with different, different flares and different styles. Here we are back at my Hova. And it's called the Hova. H-O-V-A. H-O-V-A. What I've been told is that you do not call it a hover car. It is not a hover car. They call it the Hova here. But of course, being the foreigner, that's what I called it at first. But now I know, and now you know, not a hover car. Nova. Hova, not Nova. Oh my gosh. Hova. And again, going back to that efficiency, I love the way the parking is laid out. It's just very clean, simple, and it has a dedicated area for it. You know, you, you don't see it in the heart of the city. Obviously, there are no streets here, so there's no street parking. And that's something very unique, very interesting about this area. Ooh, look at that. Some fresh fruit. Doesn't that just look delicious? I might have to come back and buy some of that. For me personally, I love street markets, street vendors. It's the people that care about their food and their reputation is on them. So when they set up shop, and this is what I find in every city, you know, their reputation is on them and their food, and they take great pride in it. So that's why when I travel, I like to hit up those areas and not the corporate mass food stores. 
Look at that. Just a cool place to grab some noodles. Got trash cans over here. Yeah, it's it's really cool here. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's home up there. Do you ever do that when you walk by? And people have a patio, but you never really see people out there. I always think, like, if I had a patio, I would be out there all the time. But, maybe they're working, or maybe they just don't want to be outside. I have a feeling it would be very similar if... I had a patio. I probably wouldn't use it as much as I think. Wow. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold still here for a little bit. Just to let you take in all of that. Quite Beautiful, beautiful. A long way down into the clouds. And again, it's like no place I've ever been to. It's heavenly. You're above the clouds in constant rainy weather which for me I love 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 it's a lot of a lot to take in my eyes very stimulating. And again, I'm just so curious. The guy's just walking, smoking a cigar. So yeah, even though, oh, and look at this, street cleaning. Yeah, so even though, like I said, people are pretty friendly, or they're a little, you know, standoffish, but that sounds a little harsh. It's not that they're being rude, they're just doing their thing, you know? just one of those places where no matter where you look there's something cool to see got that train station that's how I came in and a very cool train ride and it's the only way to get in once you arrive, so that'll be the first thing you experience coming into Navalis. Another nightclub down there. Bar. Street vendor. more insanely tall buildings. And up there, I don't know if you can see, it looks like a patio 
type of area. I get envious of that, I'm not gonna lie. And again, another bar. It's just such a cool place. It honestly feels like nothing in this world. And something interesting that, for me, I don't get home, you don't get it back at home, these ads from, you know, the sound system, I don't know where it comes from, but every now and then you'll hear an ad, and it almost feels like it's right with you, you know. If I say amazing one more time, I might lose you, but... Yeah, it's... It's just super cool. I love it. What's this? course. If it's not yours, don't take it. That's how I was raised. Wow. There's my car back there. Now these are very interesting. Never seen anything like this. And hopefully my video doesn't short out. I don't know what it does with electronics, but if you're ready, let's see this. <laughs> Teleportation. I'm not sure where I just was. Was it up there? <laughs> I'm a little turned around, but obviously I'm in a brand new space. There's the big V space ad up there. Virtual reality. Huge company. Oh, some magazines, some literature, another kind of cool place to grab a bite. These large neon signs never gets old to me. And again, you know, the photos do not do this place justice. You know, I've seen the photos of Navalis before, but until you're actually here, it's a different energy. It's exciting and yeah, I, I enjoy it. But it is a lot of information to take in. It's a lot for your eyes to absorb. But so worth it. So worth it. You ready to go through another one? <laughs> P 
pretty cool. Just, you know, just like anywhere, if you've lived it, you kind of take it for granted or just isn't always worth it for you to stop and stare, but I feel like if I moved here, the first year being here, it would just be stopping, staring, hurting my neck as I keep on looking up. Well, then this is cool, too. I haven't talked about this. You see all these trees. There's all this greenery and plant life everywhere you go and even though we are so very high in the air when you have the trees the oxygen from them the sight of them keeps you a little grounded reminds you you know, where we all came from. Yeah. And again, that goes back to everything feeling intentional. Navalis is, like I said, the mecca center of technology and innovation. But there's also nature, a bit of nature, everywhere you go. And I really appreciate that. And for me, it didn't go unnoticed. Because it really can't. If you're looking everywhere, you're going to see it everywhere. Wave, wave to the train people. Well, all right, folks, I think that's it for the day. I'm feeling a little tired, a little hungry. And so I'm gonna go here, grab something to eat, something to drink. But I wanna thank you for joining me today and uh yeah we'll see you later have a good night